As a result of the fire in January of 1950, repairs had to be made to the theater. The fire had completely destroyed the roof of the building, which had collapsed into the theater. And we've spoken with Mr. Winkler's son-in-law, who tells us that he was responsible for scrubbing all of the tar off of each of the metal seat bases that was here in the theater, because Mr. Winkler wanted to reuse those seat bases rather than buy new ones. This is a fairly common refrain with the theater and with Mr. Winkler. Because Mr. Winkler was a very successful businessman, he was also very frugal. And we see examples of that throughout the theater. In addition to asking his son-in-law to clean the tar off the seats, uh, Mr. Winkler also made a strategic decision about the rebuilding of the ceiling and the roof here in the theater. Rather than go back to the original stepped tray design, which was here in 1938 when the theater opened, he decided instead to install this barrel vault design on the ceiling that you see in place today. His reasoning was twofold. One, the fire had caused pretty extensive damage to the upper parts of the walls, and he was concerned about the costs of covering up that damage if he went back to the old tray design. Second, by barrel vaulting the space, he essentially limited the heating volume on the outer sides of the theater, which reduced his heating bill here in the theater, which he paid, by about 10% every year. Those savings made it worth it to do this barrel vault design.